Sex, <laughs> sex is always on a man's mind. So you have to protect yourself and you have to be very clear and very aware and not put yourself in a situation where you can be victimized. In the latest episode of Red Table Talk, Jada Pinkett Smith, Willow Smith, and Adrian Banfield Norris discuss sexual consent with guest Rumor Willis and Amber Rose. One of the most shocking moments from the episode is when Jada's mother admits she had non-consensual sex with the actress's father. That is gray. That's but really you, gray. Hear, you do hear that a lot. So you're basically saying you had non-consensual sex with my father. Mm hmm so that he forced himself upon you. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't, you know, yeah. Well, why do you say it like that, yeah? I don't really wanna go into more details on okay. camera about that. All right, I got it, yeah. Adrian was a teenager when she became pregnant with Jada. She was married to Jada's father, Rob Sol Pinkett Jr., for just a few months before the two divorced. Rumor Willis also discussed her experiences with sexual consent, explaining how she lost her virginity to an older man. When I was like 15 or 16, everyone out here was already having sex. Right. They didn't put pressure on me, but I did right. because I felt so inexperienced and yeah. like I just needed to catch up. When I lost my virginity when I was 18, I was more concerned with the shame that I was feeling at not having done it. I was not ab abused or it wasn't rape, right. but I didn't say yes. I wasn't gung ho right. about it, right. but I also didn't say, say no. no. Right. I just let it happen. He was older right. and took advantage but and didn't check in. That's right. where I feel like the man's responsibility is. Yeah. No means no, but what if you can't say no? Right. What if you're in a position and you're going, I can't express no because I've never done that. Model and activist Amber Rose also shared a traumatic story about an ex. I had consensual sex plenty of times right. during that relationship. Um, I didn't want to be with him anymore. I told him that I was leaving, and he didn't want to hear that. He ripped my clothes off. I felt icky, I felt gross. Yeah. I, felt, I felt I was taken advantage taken of. Advantage mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. And it was terrible. And then he went downstairs and ate breakfast, like he didn't do anything. So the gray area in that situation is, I, I, I had sex with him so many times within these oh, two right. years. I didn't fully understand what had happened. Ah. But I know what I felt like yeah. right. after. Yeah. Right. We have to fight to be heard. Yes. We have to be viewed as equal people. And to say that, that we're just being delicate when I didn't have a horrible trauma happen to me as a kid and I'm still struggling with how to stand up for myself. We just have to have some freedom to express ourselves yes. and to talk about it. Yeah, it's, it's you so gotta long. shake the shame. You gotta shake, gotta the shame. shake the shame. The women bravely prove that even though it's uncomfortable to lay it all on the table, these conversations are worth having.